Welcome back. It is 828. Latinos make up the second largest ethnic group in Chicago. If you venture into the neighborhoods and you'll get a taste and feel of how different and vibrant all these separate communities really are. I went to Humboldt Park to do a little digging into my own heritage, the Puerto Rican community. Chicago's Puerto Rican population isn't the largest Latino community in our city, but Puerto Ricans have definitely made their mark. They started migrating to this area in the 40s, and Humboldt Park on the northwest side became a hotspot. Drive along Division Street, you see murals, restaurants, and storefronts. Locals playing dominoes, all showcasing Puerto Rican pride. They're always happy to give you a hug and greet you. Chicago's Puerto Rican business community is situated between two landmarks in Humboldt Park, massive Puerto Rican steel flags that make up the area known as Paseo Boricua or the Puerto Rican Promenade. Before we put up those flags, 83% of the storefronts on the Vicious who were vacant. The man who helped to bring those markers to this area is former Chicago Alderman Bill Ocasio. Within five years of putting up the flags, 76% of the storefronts were full and owned by Puerto Ricans. And it instantly became known as the Puerto Rican Business District. I dedicated those flags that are made out of steel to our parents that came here to work in those pipeline factories as did my father and in the steel mills. And this is home base for the annual Puerto Rican parade and the many festivals that celebrate the culture. This community needs something to be proud of. And we do it through our dance, we do it through our food, and through our dress as well. <laughs> Ocasio is also responsible for helping to bring and create the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture. A lot of different things that set this museum apart. We incorporate our history into other people's history, so we bring different people together. It's the only museum of its kind outside of Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans are made up of one-third Taino Indian, one-third Spaniard, and one-third African. Uh, and so we celebrate all three of those cultures. Oh, look at this, wow. And you can't talk community without talking food. Things like arroz con gandules, lechon, mofongo, Nelly's is a neighborhood staple that's been around for 16 years. Having a restaurant where the Puerto Ricans and other people in this community would feel proud of to come and be able to eat the everyday dishes that maybe they even make at home. One of Nelly's exclusive recipes is the avena de coco mm. or coconut oatmeal with the symbol of the island, the coqui, or a little frog that makes the sound that is indigenous to Puerto Rico and music to the ears of those in the know. It's also the sound you hear when you pull up to the Puerto Rican Museum as well, a common denominator symbolic of a community that is proud of its heritage and what they bring to the city of Chicago. Now we shot this story before Hurricane Fiona struck and devastated the island. Just five years to the date of Hurricane Maria, the community is now pulling together as it always does, along with Chicago's greatest chefs, to hold a special event tonight called Chicago Chefs Cook for Puerto Rico. It's being held at that gorgeous museum we just introduced you to. Tickets are still available. You can go to the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture to get more information, to get some tickets. Uh, it's going to be a great event, and I am honored because I will be emceeing tonight. But it was it was fun to go back out there, and I wish I had food for you guys. I, was say I kept what thinking happened. I should have brought you some chicharron. Chicharron. <laughs> but I will do that later. I will do that later. And uh, we also story. have an interview coming up. Thank you, uh, talking about tonight's event. We will be back.